welcome to Counting Wisdom. Today, uh, we're going to do a book review on Malala Yousaf's book. Um, and it's a story about how she is a winner of the Nobel Peace Prize for Youth. And um, uh, during this time, uh, she's probably around 19 or 20 right now. And um, again, it's Malala. Um, and she stands up for women's rights. Um, and this is basically her story. This is one of the books, but she has a, this is more of an easier read. Um, there's another book that uh, is titled I Am Malala, and you can find that book in Barnes & Noble. It's more of a, uh, a more serious read. I like this book because uh, this is gauged towards uh, easier type, you can get through it. You see how thick it is. It's, it's fairly thick, but it, I got through this book in about, I would say, a day or two. So I'll just read to you some of what the book is about. So Nobel, Nobel Peace Prize winner Malala Yousafzai, and excuse me for not pronouncing her name right, but it's Yousaf, Yousafzai's best-selling best memoir, now abridged and adapted for newly independent readers. So uh, I would describe myself as that as, uh, you know, I'm not the best reader, but I definitely like to read. But anyway, before Malala was an internationally known activist, she was simply a young girl who stood up for what she believed in. And doesn't say in. Uh, so in a time when girls in her once peaceful area of Pakistan were told they couldn't go to school, Malala risked her life for her right to be educated. In this abridged version of her memoir, which includes black and white illustrations and a glossary, a timeline, which you will experience the remarkable story of a girl who refused to be silenced. Malala shares the value of speaking out against hate and offers an inspiring message of determination and hope in her own words. So, um, you know, basically this is somewhat of what Malala would look like. She's Pakistani. And so um, that type of image should be familiar to you as a uh, you know person who might know what uh, traveling looks like and what people of other countries look like. Excuse me. And so um, I'll just put this um, you know right over here, and um, that would be the book that we're we're focusing on today. So basically, for this book. Um, you know, I it, it, it really makes you open up about kind of other parts of the world. America is very different from a lot of other countries in that, you know, Malala, she had to definitely uh, raise her voice for education. And you don't hear that a lot. A lot of people in America, uh, some young people are tired of edu education. They don't want to be educated or they feel like everyone knows everything already. And so there's no need for education. You can just Google it, basically. And so I like how Malala is uh, speaking up for education. And she is definitely making her voice known that there is a need for education. And if it's not in, uh, you know, just Pakistani, it's in the whole entire world. You know, one thing that wisdom says in Proverbs, the book of Proverbs from the Bible is that, you know, wisdom is the number one thing. Get wisdom, get understanding. And so, you know, from this book, there's education uh, that is needed for young girls, young women, you know, but also just for youth in general. Um, and I like how that, um, you know, she was, she started speaking out for education before she was even well known. She, she was known in Pakistan for um, speaking up for women's right to have education, which it seems America went through this type of thing, but it was years ago um, that women felt that they had no rights. Uh, they felt that they were uh, belittled in the eyes of men and in, in the eyes of society. And uh, this same thing still goes on today. And so um, one thing I liked about the book is that, you know, um, Malala, she grew strong from her adversity. So she was basically um, went through an ordeal with the Taliban that was there. And um, through that trial that she went through, 
um, she had a choice to either fold and you know do what the Taliban said, which is stop speaking out for women's rights, you know, stop trying to change things that are here in the country, or she had a, a choice to grow from that experience and to not let that Taliban hold her down from speaking up for what is right. And we all have this choice in our life. You know, uh, this is not a fictional book. This is real where, where we all have this choice to, you know, either go for what is right, you know, or to fold and do what uh, we know is not the best choice for us. And so once we know the, the, the point of Malala is educating people on what is right. You know, because there there are people, especially within the Taliban itself, that believe that what they're doing is correct. You know, they don't have any problem with what they're doing. And so the reason that we need to be educated, you know, even even as a man, you know, but there are women who, you know, this book is written for both men and women, but it's she's speaking up for the side of women. And there's we we need education. We need to know what is the right way to live and what is the wrong way to live. And there's a lot of even habits that we have been formed to know just from our ancestors that is not always the correct way. I was just reading in First Peter uh, chapter one and two where he states that you know there's a lot of things that we've learned from our ancestors that you know, we now know that it's, it's no good. It's not a way to live. And so, um, you know, like getting drunk or, you know, um, uh, you know, going after certain types of relationships that are, are not good for us, not good for our spiritual life or for our character. And so I really recommend this book. Um, you can find this book at Target. Um, you can find this. I bought this at Target.com and I pretty much had it delivered to my house um, through the Target app. This book is about $6.99, 7 bucks. I think the, uh, the full book, I Am Malala, um, that book is going to be a little bit more expensive, but it's not too expensive. It's about $20. Bucks. Um, but again, I really, really recommend this book and I will end this video with um, just reading some accolades from... Uh, for Malala. So, um, October 2009, the New York Times features Malala and her father in a documentary film called Class Dismissed. 2009 to 2010, Malala appears on television, speaks for girls' education rights. And so, let's fast forward to October 2015, the documentary He Named Me Malala is released internationally. So there's a few different films that you can find about Malala. On October 2013, Malala and her father set up Malala Fund. I like how Malala, she's very close to her parents. You know, she uh, has a good relationship with her family. Uh, she has a brother and, um, you know, she has a very good family that supports her. Um, I'll show another picture. This is a drawing of her uh, get, receiving the Nobel Peace Prize. And they don't just give that out, you know, they don't, that's not something that is easily attained. And so I liked how, you know, Malala uh, is, you know, from a different country and even Americans are supporting her because of just her realization that, you know, you know, not everything that your country is telling you to do is always right. There is a better way. Um, and so um, let me read one more. So October 2017, Malala attends the University of Oxford. And so um, I'll just read a little bit and I'll end this video. So Malala Yousafari um, started her campaign for girls education at the age of 10 when the Swat Valley was being attacked by terrorists and, and education was threatened. Using the pen name Gul Makai, she wrote about life under the Taliban for BBC Urdu. Ma Malala also volunteered to be featured in, the, in a New York Times documentary about education in Pakistan. She used, very she used every opportunity to speak publicly for peace and every child's right to education. So, 
she's not just speaking up for girls. She's speaking up for children, for young people about their need for education. In, in October 2012, Malala was targeted by the Taliban and shot while returning home from school. She survived and continues her campaign for education. And so she now lives in England. Uh, she goes, she attends the University of Oxford. And so, um, you know, it's just a good book. This book was co-authored by Patricia McCormick. And um, I think the book I Am Malala is totally written by her. And I bought that book recently, um, and I'm going to try to buy it again on an ebook. But um, re really recommend this book. So thank you so much for checking in to Counting Wisdom today. Um, and um, please visit my website, washeye.com. Please like and subscribe if you like this uh, video. I put out different types of videos of uh, different types of uh, Bible-based uh, videos, but we're not, we're not always talking about the Bible, but I like to correlate things that are not about the Bible to the Bible. Um, and so thank you so much. Um, and you can pick this book up at target.com. Uh, and I will see you on the next video. Thank you so much. See ya. And my name is Ben Ross. So thank you. Bye.